Let's create this rotating text animation in After Effects. With my text layer created, I'm gonna go into the properties, animate, and enable pair character 3D, so each letter has its 3D properties. We'll go into animate again and add a rotation. And on my X rotation, I'll give it one full evolution. Now we'll go into the range selector, set the offset to minus 100, set a keyframe, let's go about here, and set it to 100. So we've got something like this going on. Now, if your text is not centered, make sure you go into more options here and set the anchor point grouping to all instead of character. That way the anchor point is gonna be in the center of each character. All right, let's go into the advanced tab. We'll set the shape to ramp down and the ease high to maybe 60. So now we got this cool looking animation which kind of twists and rotates the text. And now we can switch to advanced 3D, go into geometry options, and give it some extrusion, maybe 60. Bevel depth, I'll set to four and change it to angular. Now we can obviously set different colors here. I'll create a new light. Make sure it's environment light. Cast shadows is set to on. Create a background layer. So this will be the background duplicate it and this will be the floor layer. Let's set the floor layer to be a 3D layer and go into the rotation on the X axis, set it to 90. And I'm just gonna drop it down here. Let's also create a camera since we are in 3D space. Move it around, scale up our floor layer now, for some reason, sometimes you won't see shadows, so you gotta make sure you have the correct settings. I'll select my text layer, hit AA twice, and make sure cast shadow is set to on. And now we're getting some shadows. And I'll also go into the floor layer, AA, and under accept shadows, set it to only. So now if we apply a gradient to the background, it's basically acting as an alpha mat, and this is basically only our shadows. So obviously now you can go ahead and set your colors and once you're done with the animation just pre-compose everything so Control shift c move into a new composition here and add a motion blur so cc force motion blur it will slow down your render but it will get you a much better result this is it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one